Now that we have a complete, thorough list of problems to solve, formatted to address the who, what, and why, let's begin to prioritize them. First, we need to define a few important labels for this UX roadmap document. Give this document a title for the team members that will be using this UX roadmap. For example, perhaps you are focused on a vendor portal. So a title of vendor portal UX roadmap is clear enough. Don't overthink it. Identify the high level goal or vision. Phrase this as a broad company strategy that the roadmap works towards, such as identify a minimum viable product or enable cross disciplinary visibility and alignment. Ask yourself, when this roadmap is completed, what will be the ultimate success story from it? Also, state the roadmap owner. This is the person that created the roadmap and is the person that should be contacted if there are any questions in the future. Finally, display a date of when the roadmap was either created or last updated. Let's get started in solving your problems to solve statements. Create a Kanban board with three swimming lanes. Don't know what a Kanban board is? Well, just create three columns by drawing two lines vertically down the paper. That's it. At the top, label the columns as now, next, and future. Now, let's begin to label or place your problem cards into each of these columns. Place cards into the now column that either are already in progress, will be needed to be completed very soon, or needs to be completed before another related card can be addressed, such as research, analysis, or design. In general, this work is well-defined with few assumptions and a high degree of confidence. Now place cards into the next column that aren't as important, or perhaps they need something else completed first before it can be addressed. Finally, place cards into the future column that is ambiguous, most likely to change, or you have the lowest confidence in terms of assumptions validated by data. If these three time horizons aren't enough, or maybe you are revisiting your UX roadmap, there are a few more you consider adding for clarity. A completed column lists any UX work that you've already resolved and completed. Here's a hint, creating an initial UX roadmap, that should be in this column. The future or even future plus plus column is for far off UX work that can later emerge. You'll get to these eventually. Okay, now that you've started this UX roadmap process, you are probably wondering how long it will take you to finish creating it and your teams can start all this work. Most organizations can complete their UX roadmap in a single day of highly caffeinated collaboration. When Sherpa's clients need more time, it's because we need to conduct discovery or user research for additional inputs, or perhaps the list of problem cards became extensive or evenly overly detailed. Ultimately, don't worry if your mileage varies, but you may need to consider better quality coffee for your next collaboration. In our next video and final video, we will talk about how to maintain your UX roadmap for long-term success.